Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress, and this is your daily dust for Sunday, August 13th, if you're watching in real time, but a lot of you know that this is also considered a timeless reading for whenever you stumble upon it using the Law of Attraction. So hello, wherever you are in time. But if you're following me in real time, you know that I am in the midst of a theme for the month of August and I am doing artistic decks. And so um, the artistic decks that I chose or I am choosing are anything from like the fine arts and classical masters from years ago to more contemporary artists. One of my favorite contemporary artists and indie deck creators is Dame Darcy and I love her decks. And here is the Mermaid Tarot which is so beautiful and so sweet and I can't wait to use it again. It's a really cute box too. It has this kind of dusty gold edge and this really cool backing. Let's give it a shuffle. I like to get a three card collective message for you. So I'll just pull right from the middle of the deck. And we have, ooh, High Priestess, very nice. And the moon, mm-hmm, very matching. <laughs> High Priestess loves to use that moon energy. It could be a tarot reader or some kind of divination person. And the Hanged Man, Pisces energy as well. And the moon, and the Hanged Man can be connected to the moon. And sometimes the moon is also considered Pisces, Cancer, water signs. But definitely it corresponds with Cancer a little bit more. But so we're feeling, I'm feeling the water energy here. So let me frame it up a little bit and see what we get. So the High Priestess is the Keeper of Secrets. She deals with, she's like the moon goddess as well. So it's kind of the mysteries. She deals with the mysteries of and the unknown. So there is no real fear of the unknown because that's her genre, that's her wheel, right? That's her, that's her home. That's where she feels she gets her power. The moon energy, my pumpkin just jumped into my arms. <laughs> the moon energy represents this, something that is possibly in the shadows, possibly in dr the dream world, in, in meditation, in that in-between world, it's still, it's still your, it's still sometimes your conscious mind, but it sometimes can go into the subconscious. But you know that moment before waking and asleep where sometimes you get the most insight during that period of time. The hanged man represents taking a different point of view, looking at things a little bit differently, and being enlightened because you chose to be open-minded and, and see things from all perspectives. It's interesting that the Pisces, Pisces is connected to the hanged man and Pisces is also connected to the dream world. So either through, I feel like either through dreams or um, some kind of meditation or spiritual intuition, you're going to come upon some kind of truth that helps you feel enlightened in a certain on a certain day, in a certain moment. It, it can represent lots of things, but I don't feel like it's anything difficult, no difficult energy today. It could be just a, a day that's um, a little softer and more mysterious or mystical. Um, the harsh realities of life are not, are not so stark today. There feels this sense of kind of a veil around things and and that things have a mystery to them where you're looking at the, at the world and thinking you know some people see this this and this but I see I see infinite possibilities I see 
a mystery. I see magic. I see, I see the ability to explore with my imagination. I feel like too, there's there's a, people that are watching this especially or it could be very creative sorts, very intuitive, maybe psychic, but definitely with Pisces and High Priestess, we can, and the moon, certainly, we have a lot of psychic intuition type energy here. But also I feel the creativity, um, because there's just a creativity that really allows you to come up with some of the coolest ideas and the hardest part maybe for you is implementing your ideas in the real world because the real world is the mundane it is the the world of currency and exchange and words and other kinds of meanings behind the words but in this in this moon world in this in this world of illusion and dreams your creativity is limitless and it, it does it's not limited by the institutions of the 3d world so the ability to actually bring it forth into the 3d world takes a little bit of being on firm foundation and that may be what you need a balance in but i don't think that it's um I don't think it's a waste of time to be in this energy at all because when you're in a day full of dreaming or you're in a daydreaming mood, that's when a lot of creativity comes down. So take this opportunity to brainstorm, write down your ideas, whatever you think of, just try it. Um, you, If you can figure out a way to implement it, then implement it. If you can't think of the way to implement it just yet, then just write down the idea for a future time when your logic mind might be it working really well. And sometimes that happens. We have all, you know, we're logical. We're following the day. We're so in the mundane, but our creativity is like, oh my gosh, I can't, I just can't think of anything new or I can't, you know, don't have any ideas. Um, then you go back to those notes that you made on this day <laughs> when you were the most creative and you're like, oh, I could do this, this, and this. So that that's a, a real, I mean, it applies to lots of people and on lots of different fields and of work, but especially like if you're a tarot reader, for example, and you have to create, come up with a new theme every day, like what I do, like a, a, a pick a card or a daily reading or whatever it may be it's it some things can be sort of straightforward if you want to just do zodiac signs then you know at least you have 12 zodiac signs to go through but sometimes like if you're doing pick a cards um there's kind of like on, only so many ways you can say uh who's my soulmate or or something like that you know and and that's definitely a, a good subject it's just there's so many ways to express the same thing and there's so many ideas out there so if this is a day where you're getting really creative and you're like oh I could do a pick a card on a, a pick a sound or pick a smell or pick a butterfly or <laughs> whatever you know you whatever it is and 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 this is just a pure example and you are welcome to use any of my ideas <laughs> if you want to and then just jot these ideas down for the day that you don't have anything pop coming straight to mind and that'll work. So this works in lots of areas of your life. Um, if you're in a romantic situation and you want to connect with somebody, today could be the day that you're really feeling very connected in your dreams. <laughs> Actually, I did dream about my Pisces and I, I consider myself a high priestess. So that works for me. I did that this morning or last night not this is but I could dream again tomorrow I never know and sometimes these readings can like um, help you understand something that's already happened so if you if you're watching this and you're like I wish I could figure out what like what yesterday meant you know what the circumstances meant this could be an explanation of it too it's considered a daily reading but when you stumble upon it it can be it can be clues of the future and also kind of help decoding past things as well it could be lots of things so just be loose when you're listening to this and see how it applies 
course, it's not going to resonate with everybody. So if it doesn't resonate, then just let it go. But um, yeah, just um, don't be afraid and enjoy the mystery today. <laughs> All right. And I hope you like that. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. Thank you.